we definitely needed some yellow and they love vibrant colors. So I thought this was a winner. I used it to make the valances for the drapery. And now I'm using the extra leftover fabric to cut out a border for my plain white drapery fabric. We wanted to give the Majeskis a really unique table, especially one that incorporates some of Ryan's magical interests. Now, we decided to go with an oval because it's baby-friendly and it opens up the space a little bit more. Now, I've already built the base out of MDF, one by threes, and a piece of styrene, which gives a nice, clean look. So now, I'm ready to get started on the top. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Kathy. So did you bring the magic trick I asked you to bring? I did. Okay. Now, if you complete the trick successfully, I will show you some things that are going into the room. Deal? Okay. Okay. Let's check it out. Wow. That deserves a sneak peek, okay? Are you ready? I'm going my magic bag. Okay. First surprise. <gasps> Okay. How do you like it? It's lovely. I do you like, like it. The colors and patterns. Absolutely. Nice. Second thing is ta -da! beads. So you like beads? I like beads. Okay. Well, now that's all I'm showing you. But when the room is finished, you'll see the complete finished product, and I hope you like it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for coming. These are the optical illusion bowls I picked up at the magic shop. So I've cut my circles and now I'm going to mount them so that they're flush with the top of the table. And after that, I'm going to coat everything in styrene. The final step to my window treatment project is to attach the balance to the piece of wood here that I've created. This will float up above the drapery and float out. So what that does is it creates a more theatrical look. It's a lot more fun. But it also disguises the fact that we have mismatched rugs. Time is not on our side. Let's check on Spencer and see if his table is almost complete. I finished it off with a sheet of styrene on the top because it's inexpensive and very easily washable. Plus, the white goes with all the other accents that we have in the room. So now, I just have to cut out these circles, and I'm ready to install it in the room. And so for only around $130, they have a one-of-a-kind table. Russ, yes, what do you think of my dress? I think it's awesome. I used the leftover pillow fabric. Isn't it cute? I thought that fabric was cool. Yeah, I'm gonna make very it. Nice. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wear it tomorrow. Are you? Gonna reveal. Yeah. Okay, good. Now Spencer is onto his beaded curtain for over the kitchen counter. We have a couple of theatrical elements going on in the room. So to put a spin on my beaded curtain, what I've done is take off an area to give the illusion of a graphic swagged curtain. I'm using a combination of yellow and white because those are the colors that Kahi's putting in for drapery. I love that. Okay, now the magic curtain. Do you know why it's magic? No. Because it is going to disguise that break in the paint right there and create two rooms. Now it's time to put it all together. Wow, I love the color. It looks good. I was doubtful in the day, but it looks really good in here. That looks great, Kai. Do you like the color? It's I do. Color, right? This is my magic rug. Does it fly? Now, it doesn't fly, but I know we can make it fly. <laughs> it is a four smaller rugs, and I sewed them together like abracadabra, one rug. Ooh. Nice. Yay, at long last, the magic table. That is so cool. And you can change things out. You can put whatever you want in there. If those were chocolates, I'd be really happy. Uh, that is amazing. And that's the last piece to come into the room. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's disappear. Mm. Up next, will Ryan and Melissa like the transformation? Wow. This is crazy. All new every Sunday. There are home inspections. And then there's our parents' inspection. That wasn't in the report. You want it done right? Start with mine. I suck. All new episodes of Home's Inspection tomorrow night at 9 on HGTV. I'm Chef Michael, and my dog Bailey and I love to hang out in the kitchen. You love the aroma of beef tenderloin, don't you? You inspired a very special dog food. Chef Michael's canine creations. Chef inspired, dog desired. Ethan Allen introduces a new way of living at extraordinary savings, presenting five signature lifestyles. Romance. Vintage. Modern. 
elegant and an explorer. Five visions of American style inspired by you. Find your signature lifestyle at Design Center today. Come in now. Sale ends May 31st. Tonight, I'm going to teach Amelia my secret recipe. Combine two pounds of potatoes and some cooking oil with a packet of Hidden Valley Ranch. And we have a side dish that might just have stayed for many. Ranch potatoes. Hidden Valley Ranch. Mix it up. Now use your Lowe's consumer credit card to get 5% off every day. Or choose special financing on purchases of $299 or more. Experience. Lowe's. Let's build something together. Lots of companies are taking high fructose corn syrup out of their foods now. Before that, it was trans fats. And before that, artificial sweeteners. But at Kashi, we've kept our foods real from the start. For 25 years, we've used only real ingredients, like fruit, nuts, and honey. We only put in good stuff, so you can feel good. <laughs> Want to keep food real? Yay. Join us at Kashi.com. Kashi, 11 whole grains on a mission. Ryan and Melissa have a baby on the way and needed us to transform their cluttered, mismatched living room into something fun, whimsical, and stylish. Let's see how they like it. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. That's so crazy. What do you think? This is so oh, wow. <laughs> This is seriously cool. Before, the living room had no distinctive style and was packed with magic memorabilia. Now, the space is a cohesive, eclectic blend. It was oh. very different. Before, it was really dark in here. You'd have the wood paneling. Yeah. No, and we try to brighten it up. We painted the paneling. Yes. Yeah. We brought in some color. Actually, we brought in lots of colors. Yeah. So we kind of went crazy with that. So I hope you guys like all the mix of the different colors going on. It's gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these beautiful yeah, oh my We cleared this area That's and actually made it a usable bar area since you weren't really using it before. You just had bookcases and yeah, all that yeah. kind of stuff going on underneath. And now you can actually sit here and have a little meal. It's lovely. Oh, it's so open. It's right? I love it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It feels it a lot bigger. It does feel bigger, right? Yeah. Now, we had a little bit of a problem when we were painting the walls is yeah. where to stop because your kitchen starts yeah. right here. Kahi and I worked together to create a division between your living area and your kitchen. So what I did is made this beaded curtain and kind of gave a graphic look of a swag curtain, but it's just a little bit different. We draped this here. I think it kind of makes it like a grand sort of formal entrance really sure. fun. Yeah. Before, the lack of lighting together with paneling made this space dark. Now, two vintage-looking pendants add light and whimsy. These are like yeah. the coolest. Oh, I'm glad you like those. I actually bought two lights, combined all the beads together to make the length we wanted. And for around $80, we've got custom lights. It's really helpful in blending the sort of modern with the vintage. Since you have a lot of vintage pieces, you've yeah. got your sort of vintage magic cases and all of that. And you've got the leather sofa. But you also have the modern futon. So we had to sort of, you know, sort of blur those lines. So this piece was really key to helping all the pieces work together. Yeah. Before, the coffee table was unique, but underscaled, and the corners weren't baby-friendly. Now, I tried to work in You Master of Illusion. <laughs> I worked that into the coffee table, so oh. I found these things. Look at that. I love them. <gasps> no oh. way. Any object can run in there. There's no way. You just That's come down there and pick so it up. Cool. <laughs> That's so cool. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and it's sitting on your brand-new shag rug. This is actually four smaller mats that I sewed together. Each small mat costs $9.99, so for about $40, you have a really cool area rug. That's, just, that's so smart. <laughs> the vibrant new wall unit not only adds a pop of color to the space, it also creates a whole new focal wall. Okay, now you guys are missing the main, the main center stage. This is so insane, though. It's I look crazy, right? It's yeah. Insane. It's just you have so many focal points in the room. Yeah. You know, you have this wall full of things, you have the television over there, bookcases here. So 